guys, welcome to Sophie Maxed. And let's see you how Einstein put a new idea about the nature of radiation and applied his idea to the characteristic behavior of photoelectric effect and explained it very well. In 1905, Albert Einstein published his paper on the nature of light in which he presented a revolutionary idea about light. According to Einstein, light consists of stream of particles. This particle would later be called a photon. The energy of a photon is quantized and is given by the equation E equals H nu, where it stands for Planck's constant and nu for frequency of light. He further postulated that in a given beam of light, the number of photons depend on the intensity of light. The brighter the beam, more the number of photons. This idea of Einstein was totally against the existing web theory of Maxwell and was not taken seriously by the scientific community for around 15 long years. However, in the same paper, on the basis of his particle or photon theory, Einstein tried to explain the phenomena of photoelectric effect. His explanation goes like this. The loosely bound electron to the interior of metal of emitter absorbs energy from the incident photons. Every photon transmits energy to only a single electron and no two photons can collide with a single electron at the same time. The energy of absorbed photon is used in two ways. Part of the absorbed energy is used to liberate electrons from the, from the surface of the metal and the rest of the photon energy is used as kinetic energy of the ejected electrons. This idea can straight away be expressed in the form of an equation now known as Einstein photoelectric equation. That is the energy E of incident photon equals phi plus Ke, where phi is known as work function N is a characteristic of the material of emitter. It is the minimum energy of a photon needed to make an electron free from a metal surface. If a photon is absorbed by an electron laying at the metal surface, it will have more kinetic energy due to the absence of collision with other electrons and atoms at the later sites. On the other hand, the electron that suffers through internal collisions will leave the surface with less kinetic energy. Due to this reason, we have electrons of various kinetic energies ranging from zero to certain maximum value. As postulated, each photon has collision with a single electron. Therefore, increasing the intensity of the incident light would increase the number of photons which in turn will increase the number of ejected electron and hence results into more photoelectric current. So Einstein equation in terms of frequency of a photon can be put into this form. H nu equals phi plus Ke. It is clear from this equation that the kinetic energy of electron is a function of frequency of photons. If we keep on decreasing the frequency of incident photon till the point where the kinetic energy of the ejected electron is exactly equal to zero, then this equation can be expressed as its new equals phi. And since this frequency of the incident photon corresponds to zero kinetic energy, therefore I replace the new with a special notation by putting a subscript naught with it and can rewrite this equation as h nu sub naught equals phi or phi equals h nu sub naught. Here nu sub naught is the threshold frequency that can be defined as the frequency of incident light at which electrons from a metal surface are ejected with zero kinetic energy. 
In terms of the threshold frequency, the above equation can be rewritten in the form h mu equals h mu sub mod plus ke. This equation is another form of the Einstein photoelectric equation. It is clear from this equation that even the faintest beam of light, even a single photon having frequency equal to mu naught, can eject electron with no lapse of time. As all the aspects of photoelectric effect unexplained on the basis of wave theory of light have favorable explanation on the basis of photon theory of light. But still, the wave theory of light had such strong experimental evidences that the explanation of few phenomena were not sufficient to turn the minds of physicists against it. Due to this reason, Planck's quantization theory of harmonic oscillators and Einstein quantization theory of light were not readily accepted. It took around one and a half decades to turn the minds of physicists in favor of the quantization theory of radiations. 